welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be discussing my 50 days hard um this is week four okay so this week you guys are going to see is week four i didn't film week, week two or week three because it's just going to be too much for me i picked five things i was waking up early reading the bible 45 minute workout um half a gallon i started off as, at, at a gallon and then I had to change it to half a gallon. And eating clean, and that's eating everything at home. Waking up early has been easy. I have an alarm, so it kind of does everything for me. Um, I feel like I got more time in the day. Um, my brain sometimes wake me up before the alarm, so I think that's really good. Reading the Bible has been really great. I started off in Exodus, and now I'm in Deuteronomy, and I'm learning about Moses and the Israelites and how God is really set on when He says do something and. He, mean it, he means that he's the same today, yesterday, and forever. And you know, I feel like he's never changing, he's consistent. 45 minute workout, that's been really good. It's been hard sometimes to really push myself and keep going, but I'm doing it and I made it to the fourth week. I really wanted to quit like Monday. I was telling my boyfriend I just don't wanna do it. I think it's just like too much of my body. Like I don't have enough rest because I'm also having to work during the week and then also have to work out every single day you know and come home and cook on top of that so it's like it's a lot but it's good i feel like my body's really thanking me right now and i'm gonna thank myself at the end of this um yeah total weeks is gonna be seven and right now i'm on week four drinking half the gallon's been good i just take my bottles with me and it's way easier than the gallon if you watch the first video i did on my first week i dropped it from a gallon to half a gallon just because like my body size and stuff and i didn't want to like end up over drinking water you know like that's really a thing <laughs> um eating clean i've been doing really good like i said i'm still cooking at home i fall through the cracks with the dessert so my main course meals are always at home made but um the cakes you know <laughs> sometimes it's hard to not have the sweets because i'm so used to sweets and this is why i chose water for this challenge because i've always been really my preference of liquid is juice so yeah doing this has been really great for me and i feel like i'm starting to like water a little bit more i've been eating really good and my body feels good like i said and if you guys are gonna try this challenge i suggest you do it but i would do it to where you're taking maybe sundays off because it's a lot especially if you're not somebody that's worked out prior to this and you just take on the challenge it's gonna be a lot on your body it's exhausting it really is but it feels good and I feel good and I feel like I'm gaining more confidence because you know I'm like look I'm tight you know I'm getting right so <laughs> it is what it is winter time for me is grind time so in the summer when I'm busy doing all types of things and I don't have time for the gym it's okay because I worked all winter and I got some time to play around in the summer but yeah I will catch you guys throughout this video just hang around with me and we'll see how all of this turns out by the time week seven comes along and yeah I'll catch you guys throughout this video do it okay guys I'm kind of cheating this morning because I'm not that hungry and had this cheesecake in there so I'm about to have this for breakfast and then I'm gonna do some tea but yeah look at that it's so good I already started at it yeah <laughs> so I just got to the park I'm gonna do about 20 minutes running and then 20 minutes back so 40 minutes all together um, I did some deadlifts in my garage just because I wanted to work out first before I go running because I'm really trying to build my legs so yeah but I also got to burn a little bit of fat you know just to get a little bit more tighter like more cut and stuff but yeah, I'm gonna go do this run and I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go.
Wow, okay guys, I just got done running. I'm sweaty. As you can see, that was harder than it is, like running 20 minutes and another 20 minutes, especially on like ground that's not flat or on a treadmill. It was a lot of like bumps and shit, so yeah, if I'm if I was you, I would pick a park that's paved and easy for you to run on, but where I went was just uh, I don't think I'll do that running again. It was beautiful though for like scenery, but oh, fuck. I will see you guys when I get back to the crib. Dinner's all done. Got ground beef, rice, and potato salad. What's up you guys, today's day 20. I felt really good, I already ate good. I was gonna show you guys my breakfast, but I was so hungry, I literally woke up. And by the time I was done eating, I was like, I forgot to show you guys. But I had bread and um, bread, hot tea as usual and um, peanut butter on it. But anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna do glutes as always and my legs. Just a little advice. If you're gonna work out and do heavy workouts, always do the heaviest workout first so that way you have the most energy and you can power through that. That's why I did squats first because this shit, honestly, I hate it, but it's the best workout. It works on so many different parts of your body, not just your legs, so. Two, three, it looks better. Four, five, six. It's honestly getting harder. The longer I do this for, like days wise, the harder it's getting. I, I've been doing 245 plates and I never had an issue doing it. And today, like it was just like I couldn't even push past that. It took a lot out of me. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be looking like. But shit, days for recovery are definitely very important because you need them to get your energy levels back up. And right now, going every day, it's killing me. Week four, baby, week four. Still gotta get to seven, so pray for me, guys. Actually bigger than I look. I feel like the camera doesn't do me justice and these mirrors don't do me justice. Okay, for the, so for the ones working out at home, this bar here, I bring it with me to the gym. It's called a Hyper Bell. I'll put the link down below where you can find it and stuff, but you just connect these um, dumbbells. This part of the screws, the whole cap opens, you put the dumbbells in and you can do like all types of things, deadlifts, and I think it, it can hold up to like 220 or something like that, but it's really good for if you don't have a gym that's got 
everything, like for deadlifts and stuff, like bars. out for 45 minutes I drank half a gallon I ate clean um, on day 20 today day 21 I woke up on time I read the Bible I worked out today, I drank water, and I didn't eat good today. I'm going to put that as a, as a not so good day, but tomorrow's another day. So my favorite number is 22, so we'll see. breakfast today, bacon, um, baked beans, and some eggs. I really felt bad eating a Dunkin' yesterday, so yeah. Okay guys, so it's about 3.30 right now. I'm making lunch and this is going to be dinner too. I'm just going to do some sausage and rice for the night. 
Yeah, I didn't work today, so I've got some time to cook and get to the gym earlier. What's up y'all? Today is day 23. Um, it is Thanksgiving. I'm not going to be spending it with family and eating a whole bunch, but I did make food for tonight. This morning I had toast and tea. Again, I was so hungry I woke up, ate, and then realized at the end for the second time this week that I didn't record. Um, I had leftovers for dinner. No, not for dinner. I had leftovers for lunch. And yeah, I've already made dinner. I'm just gonna head to the gym. I am feeling sore today. The workout, I, the workout I did yesterday really, yeah, really kicked my ass. But maybe it's just from working out throughout the week. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready. And but head to the gym right now. Still working on my water. I know I haven't been showing you guys the big gallon that I started off with, just to kind of show like what I'm drinking. But yeah, it's just easier for me to carry water bottles around than carrying a big jug. But yeah, I'm still drinking my water and I feel really good, honestly. I feel good inside. I feel like my hair is thanking me. My skin, you know, like I'm a lot tighter than I was when I started. And yeah, excited to get through this whole process. But yeah, let's go get started. So for those who don't know, I'm in Texas and finally cold today on Thanksgiving. I guess freezing out there. I'm not used to this. Today we're going to be working out my upper body and make sure I do abs. I'm going to skip abs. Um, I'm going to do upper body and call it a day because <laughs> I'm tired. And tomorrow I'm going to try doing the 40 minute run again. I'm going to try to do that twice a week, so Mondays or, yeah, Mondays and Fridays, I'll do it, but yeah, let's get ready. Okay, even on days that I'm not um, working out legs, I'll still put on the sweat belt, just so it helps me keep my Tummy small because I don't really do abs and I, I think I should start doing more abs but <sighs> you know you're already so tired and then like getting to abs and, like shit I'd rather just go run you know or keep my core tight as often as I can. <laughs> body in like forever so it's like ah, that shit 
run right away. It's the first workout. Give me a flex. Give me a flex. There we go. There you go. Every twelve. Come on. One more. Day 23, upper body. Um, it's been great. I am feeling good, sore, very sore, but it's like a good sore feeling. Like I'm almost getting addicted to this shit. Like I'm waking up and just wanting to get to the gym. But <laughs> yeah, it's been fun and hey, I'm not regretting it. See guys, this is from wearing the waist trainer. That shit really keeps my shit. Okay, for dinner I made some pasta and chicken. Okay, so I know this looks like rice, but it's not. Yes, sir. All the words of this law, when you cross over to enter the land that the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you. And when you have crossed over the Jordan, you shall set up these stones concerning which I command you today on Mount Ebal, and you shall... Okay, so day 22, I woke up at 7, I read the Bible, I worked out, I drank my water, and I ate really good. Day 23, I woke up on time, I read the Bible... I worked out, I drank my water, and it clean again. So right now, I've only failed one. This is really good. Um, it's becoming a habit now. See all those X's? We're moving. What's up you guys, it is day 24. I'm sore from the day before yesterday. That workout was like killer. But anyways, I'm about to go do this run 20 minutes, 20 minutes back. I just got back from work, so I'm kind of exhausted. Um, you're gonna hear me saying I'm tired most of this time till the very end of this, but it just is what it is. Um, today's pretty much halfway through this. Tomorrow's gonna be exactly half. But yeah, I'm enjoying doing this and I'm still pushing. I really didn't think I was gonna make it this far. So yeah, let's go get started. <laughs> Day 24. Oh wait, we need a timer. Timer? <laughs> no, we ain't running with no timer. It's on. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back to it. Redo. Oh, and I carried this backpack to carry my equipment, so. We'll see how that goes. A few minutes later. I had a harder run with this backpack. I wonder if I should leave it here and go back for it. You gonna hang in the woods? <laughs> I should, but ain't nobody gonna be climbing these trees. Yeah, you never know. They might see that in my court. Not bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
12 seconds later. Hey guys, it's only been 10 minutes. And I honestly just, honestly just want to walk the rest of the way. I'm tired. I feel like I'm smelling blood. Um, my mouth is really dry. You know, it was really cold. I'm like sweating inside of this. But yeah, I got about nine more minutes left. And yeah, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna walk it or finish it off. Uh, okay, you guys, so I ran 10, I walked five, and then I ran the last five. I'm about to walk back these this five and then um, run for 15. I feel really good. Um, yeah, I'm just ready to get back to the house, honestly, and get to that bed. You're... My cameraman is down. Dude. <laughs> on them they shall be wasted with hunger and devoured by plague and poisonous pestilence i will send the teeth of beasts against them with the venom of things that crawl in the dust outdoors the sword shall be reeve and be your protection see now that i even i am he and there is no god beside me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal what's up you guys we've made it to week four we made it through one two three and four you guys are not going to be there to see me go through five and six but i promise i'm going to be on top of it and i'm going to make sure to hit all five of my goals um the hardest thing this week has definitely been pushing through the workouts it's going to continue to be hard just because my body has to physically keep doing these things over and over and over but it has been good mentally i feel like i'm getting stronger and i don't even have to push myself it just i'm getting to the point where my body's just like okay you have to do it if i don't do it i don't feel good but yeah i'm still pushing and you guys will get to see me on week seven and i'm really excited to see me go through this whole challenge for the ones that have been here from week one to now um i really do appreciate the support and if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in week seven do it